What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And let me know where you're joining me from. Is it Facebook? Is it LinkedIn? Is it YouTube? We can be everywhere these days, and there's little notifications, so I expect some people will be joining me soon. Today, though, I was talking to someone this week, and it made me flash back to a few years ago in my life. And I just thought this is something that you guys really need to hear for Monday Motivation, hashtag Monday Motivation. And see the little eyeballs, let me know who's joining me. Would love to see you. And thanks for the love hearts, always makes me feel good. Um, so someone said to me the other day, I was 25 years old and I realized that I didn't have everything I wanted. And I remember back, so I'm 28 now, but I remember back when I was 25 and I'm a little bit older than most of the people in my friendship group. And so I turned 25, didn't think much of it. But as everybody else was coming up to that age, they're going, oh, I thought I'd be married with two kids by now. Or they'd be like, I thought I would have started working my way up the corporate ladder by now. Or I thought I'd own my own home. All of these things that we had in our mind growing up that we just assumed we'd achieve. But here's the thing, right? Because after all, this is a hashtag Monday motivation. And thanks, I'm loving whoever's joining me. Let me know who's here. I can't see right now. I can see all the love hearts, though, and likes. So thank you so much. Um, and I can see all your little eyeballs, too. And here's the thing, right? This is common no matter what age you are, no matter whether you're talking business or personal life or any other area. We always overestimate what we can achieve in one year and underestimate what we can achieve in three, five, seven, ten. It's the human condition. It is so part of our wiring. We think we can get so much done and think we can do this, that and the other and create this world and this life by the time that we're 25. But we don't, we don't, blah, blah, blah. We don't estimate correctly how much we can get done by the age of 25. And I challenge each and every one of you watching this because when I really stop to think about it and when I talk to some of those friends back in those days, they thought, hold on. How much have you really done? Like, let's just be really real for a moment and drop all the shoulds. I should have the car. I should have the career. I should have the marriage. I should have found my perfect man by now. I should have a couple of kids. Let's just drop all those shoulds, the things. Hey, you know, thanks for joining. All the things that you think you should have had, because back in the day, that's what everybody else was doing. So you created in your mind this idea that this needed to happen, that you needed to have these things. And maybe they're your genuine dream. And that is amazing. And I'm so happy for you. But why don't you take a moment, if this is you, take a moment and reflect on what you have done. Because there will be incredible things that you have achieved that are outside of those boxes that we fill our lives with. Thanks so much for the love hearts, guys. Let me know who's joining me. I can see all your little eyeballs. Um, comment and let me know who's here. So take a moment to reflect on what you have achieved. Think outside the square because we are so conditioned as millennials and Gen Zs to think of life in one way because that's what society provides for us. The norm, the everyday, the normal thing that we all do is we go to high school, we go to university, we get a job, we get a career, and then we have family, we settle down and we have kids. Some of that doesn't go in that exact order, but that's what's expected. You buy your home and maybe you get a couple of investments if you're smart. This is the world that we live in and it's okay that we live there. But it means that unless you have been exposed to open-minded thinking, hey, Jessica, lovely to see you. Thanks for joining. Hey, Shani, thanks for joining. Unless you have been exposed to open-minded thinking, something that comes naturally, also looking forward to it, Shani. Um, something comes naturally to you or maybe you've just been around people and both your parents are really open-minded in their thoughts. It would never occur to us until somebody says something or until something stands in your way, some challenge that you've had to overcome or some achievement you wanted to have or it's just part of your upbringing to think outside of the boxes society makes us tick all around to say, yep, you've done a good job. So today, for hashtag Monday Motivation, if you're feeling disappointed because you haven't got all those incredible things that you wanted to have before the age that you are now, let's just flip the switch on that for a minute. What incredible things do you have? What have you done? What is it that's incredible that you're proud of? 
Maybe you're someone who struggles with anxiety and depression, especially in the world that we live in right now. And maybe for you, you're functioning in a way that's allowed you to support other people. And maybe for you, you rock up to your job every single day with a smile on your face. And without even necessarily have thought about it, you've uplifted the people around you that you work with. Maybe you have your own car. That's a massive thing. Maybe you're living outside a home. Maybe you've got, you know, you're renting. That's also a massive thing. We take these things for granted because we're doing them. And we don't stop to appreciate and smell the roses. So I'm telling you right now, no matter how disappointed you may feel because you don't have all the things you thought you should have by now, there are millions of incredible things that you have created already. And by switching perspective from should to reality, because at the end of the day, society is just one way that we can perceive our reality. You are an incredible human being. You have so much to give. And thank you so much for the love hearts, guys. I see them all coming in and the likes. You have so much to give this world. So stop being so hard on yourself. Who said it was okay to be hard on yourself? You wouldn't treat your best friend like that. You wouldn't treat your brother or sister like that. You might, if you're being funny. But you would never speak to someone the way that you are speaking to you that's creating that disappointment. And maybe you're someone who's sitting there going, oh, I really don't know what I want. Maybe you're worried that you're going to create that future and get to that age of 25 and realise that you don't have all the things that you think you should have. And if that is the case, make sure... Thanks so much, Nook. That's lovely. Oh, thank you. That goes on the screen. My motivational speeches always inspire me. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you're someone who's sitting there worrying that this is going to happen to you, maybe you don't know what you want by that age, maybe you're still trying to sort yourself out, maybe you're still trying to figure out who you are and what you want, what sort of life you want to live, and you're feeling pulled between the two different directions, between what society tells you you're supposed to have and what you actually want, maybe they're not in alignment. Maybe you're being pulled by what society tells you you should have, but you don't really know if you want it or not. You have no idea what the alternatives are. Then you must, must, must join the Facebook group, the Stick It Facebook group. I'll be running a live bonus training with way more information about how you can start to figure these things out. What it is you can do to take the power back in your life so you don't get to that point in time. Don't get to 25 and you don't have the car or the career and it's what you really want. And help you. Define what it is you really want. I mean, at the end of the day, it is your life. Not mine, not anybody else's, yours. It belongs to you. So what stories do you want to be able to tell? What memories do you want to be able to have? Who do you want to experience it with? Every day that goes by, you are investing that day into something, whether you're proactively doing it or not. My challenge for you today is instead of focusing on all the things you don't have and panicking, get real, get in touch with you, build the life that you want. And if you're not sure how to do that, join the Facebook group. I will comment the links, the links, the link. No matter which platform you're on, I'll pop it in the comments for you. And later this week, I'll be going live in there with some of this information on how you can do that. How can you build a life that you love? How can you ensure you have what you want in life? How can you get in touch with you so you can figure that stuff out? So millennials and Gen Zs, we don't have all the answers. Heck, people who are 50, 60 years old are just figuring who they are out now. So if you think you have to have all the answers before you can get started, just take a look at all the people who have a midlife crisis. They're only just figuring this out now. And thank you so much to whoever's sending the love and the likes. I can see all your little eyeballs. It makes me feel amazing. So today, hashtag Monday motivation. Remember. You wouldn't speak to someone you love the way that you were speaking internally to yourself. So stop being so hard on yourself. Start appreciating all the cool things that you have achieved in your life because there will be so many. Like, so many. Find moments to be proud of yourself and then get in touch with who you are. Lift the veil between your unconscious mind and your conscious mind because if you're sitting there going, this sounds great in theory, but I have no idea how to put it in practice. Then the Stick It Facebook group, I'll put the link in the comments, is for you. This is where we get down and we get real and we get some of this information to you. 
It's a fantastic place to hang out. The millennials and Gen Zs in there are amazing and ever so inspiring. So for this Monday motivation, remember, be kind to yourselves. Have an incredible week. Join the Facebook group. Look for the link in the comments. I will put it there now. And most importantly, guys, remember,